Hey guys, first of all, I really hope I'm in focus right now because my eyes are, have been doing this thing lately where they get like watery and blurry at the same time and I can't really see that good, so I really tried to focus it as best as I could, so I really hope I'm in focus, but if I'm a little off, I apologize and it's going to bug me and you probably, so I hope I'm not. But today I'm going to be doing my February favorites video, so I'm very excited. I have a lot of products that most of them I don't think I've even talked to you guys about. Yeah, I think it's like all new products, which is really exciting. I've tried out a lot of stuff this month and really, really fallen in love with some things. So I'm going to do beauty favorites first like I always do, and then I have a few random like snack favorites and things like that at the end. So I will go ahead and get started with my beauty favorites. So my first thing that I've been loving is something that's kind of new to me. I heard about this product from Casey or It's Blondie and she was raving about how much she loved it and it's the CoverGirl in Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer. And I'm in the shade 205 which is the lightest shade and it looks like this, the, the pretty little swirl got messed up but you know. That was bound to happen right it actually got messed up like the second I used it but um basically this is just a moisturizing under eye concealer and I really like it because I you just used my regular um, face concealer for under my eyes and um, it wasn't really like doing me any justice it was creasing and I just thought I would get something that's meant for the under eye area so I really do like this product I got my Zaxby's lemonade here that's really really good Ah next product I have here is one of the new Sigma shadow bases. So they came out with a line of, I believe it's nine, eyeshadow bases that come in all different colors and just really, really give you a nice base to your shadow and keep it lasting. No creasing, keep it lasting um, and vibrant all day long. So I've been trying this out this month and you guys know me, I pretty much only wear neutral looks because like most of the days I'm just going to school. So my favorite one has just been like the nude matte colored one and it is in the shade Persuade and it just looks like this. It kind of looks like a concealer but I absolutely love this because even if I'm not wearing, it's a great eyeshadow base as I said, these do not crease at all for me. Um, even if I'm just wearing this alone, it covers up like I have like eyelid like veins and stuff and it's just not all the same color up there. So I love this because it completely evens everything out. It's like concealer for your eyelids but it doesn't crease. So that's why I love this so much and it's just perfect and also I use this when I wear just like neutral looks. I've been using this every single day and loving it so this is definitely my new like eyeshadow base. And I actually use a brush with it because I just prefer that to using my finger with it. And um, the brush that I use with it is the Precision Flat Angled P88 brush. And it's just the tiny angle brush. You can see it has a lot of the product on there because I use it every day. And I just like dip it in and put it on my eye. And I like it because I don't have to get my fingers dirty. And this has just been my favorite um, eyeshadow base of the month. And I just have fallen in love with it. So um, I will link both of these products down below and you can check out like the other colors of the eyeshadow bases. Next product I've been loving is this lip gloss and this is the Benefit Ultra Plush Lip Gloss and this is from their new color collection and um, how cute is the packaging of these? They stand up straight so I have them if you saw my makeup collection like in a little pyramid because they stand up and they just look so cute like the packaging is adorable. I've been loving this color it is in the shade Kiss You that reminds me of the One Direction song. Oh, I just want to take you any way that you like. <laughs> any day, any night. Baby, I'll take you there, take you there. Okay, I had a little moment there, but I absolutely love this color. It's like an intense purple color, but when it goes on your lips, it's not like this intense. It just gives a nice like magenta purple shine to the lips, and these aren't sticky, which is why I love them so much. So this is a fabulous product. Next makeup product I've been loving is another Sigma new product, and they have these new um, brow powder duos, because if you guys remember, Sigma has like that really big brow kit with everything in it that you could ever need for your brows. I did a video on it and that's a great kit but it's like it's not for every day because there's so much in it and you always you don't always need to use like all those products you know so um, I have like taken out the products from the kit and um, the eyeshadows are the only thing that are like permanently in the kit so I was so happy that they came out with these and they came out with um, I think three or four of them like light medium and dark for all different eyeshadow colors and this one is in medium and it's basically just an eyeshadow duo with each like light medium or brown you get light medium or dark you get two choices of which color you want to use so I use the lighter one I probably could use the darker one because I have pretty dark brows 
but I don't want to go like super intense on my eyebrows usually so I use the light one and I absolutely love it this is just so quick for me and this is what I've just been using every day because it's just such like easy access you know and um, the brush that I use with it is from the brow kit but they sell this brush separately and it's the dual ended one but I only use the angled end and it's the E75 and this is just the absolute perfect brush for doing my eyebrows so I love it and I will go ahead and link to these brow powders and this brush as well down below I will just go ahead and link to all the products that I'm talking about today because why not the last actual makeup product that I have is the benefit what's up isn't that so weird like when you hear that what's up I thought it was what's up but it's what's up because it has a bunch of like light bulbs on it like how many watts in a light bulb you know um, first of all the packaging benefits packaging is just flawless <laughs> whatever they do um, so I got this product when I went on my trip with benefit in January and I instantly fell in love with it and I pretty much use it every day I am wearing it now it is I think the perfect highlight it looks like this it comes in a stick and you can roll it up and I just apply it directly to my face you can like do it on your hand if you want to and use a brush but I just apply it directly to my face and blend it out usually with my finger but um, you can use this little blendy end that they have, which I do use sometimes if I feel like it, but this is amazing. It's a really pretty just golden glow, and I really just find that, like, I notice when I look in the mirror, I, like, see my highlight on me, and I really like it when I use this product, and with other highlights, I don't really notice them, so um, there's definitely something different with this, and I love it. I love it more than high beam, so um, this is very flattering. I think it would flatter pretty much all skin tones, so you guys should definitely give this product a try. Continuing on with beauty products that are not makeup, I have two favorite nail polishes, and I'm actually wearing them both right now. This is what it looks like. It's it's still in pretty good shape. I did this like a week ago, and these are two new Butter London polishes from the Spring line. It is literally the perfect line. I think it's called the Sweetie Shop Collection, and it's amazing. Butter London polishes are expensive, but I think they're worth it because like this has stayed on. I haven't touched this up the entire week and I just think they're really good like creamy nice formulation polishes so I absolutely love them and these two this mint one first of all it kind of matches my shirt I love this this is like the perfect mint blue or mint green nail polish it's called fiver and then on my fourth finger here I have this purple which is called molly coddled isn't that such a weird name but I looked it up and mo molly coddled is a word I didn't know that just being honest I didn't know that was a word but it is so um, I've been absolutely loving these these are I picked up one more which is a pink one from the spring collection but I haven't tried it yet so I don't know how much I like it but definitely check out the butter London sweetie shop collection if you're looking for some lovely beautiful spring nail polishes and you don't mind spending a little bit more money they also have a ton of awesome drugstore polishes out right now for spring my next product I can't remember if I've talked to you guys about it before but it's the lush skin drink moisturizer and I absolutely love this product Megan got me this for Christmas I feel like I have talked to you guys about this in a favorites video before but um, I'm still loving it I use it every night and it really moisturizes my skin and it just looks like this it's a very thick moisturizer so if you're gonna get it don't use it in the morning just use it at night because it does kind of leave a little bit of greasiness on your skin but like it's just so moisturizing that it like has to do that but it goes away by the morning it's fine and it just smells good and I just love it so if like me you are having really dry skin right now you should definitely give this product a try a whirl if you if you so want to so this month I have actually been trying out a new not complete skincare routine but a few new skincare products from Michael Todd true organic and I had heard of that line before from a ton of other youtubers really raving about it and loving it so I was really excited to give the products a try I've been really trying them out this month and just really loving them so I want to share them with you guys so the first product here is the charcoal detox deep pore gel cleanser and this is just basically a cleanser it's like a black color it's really cool but charcoal is really good for your skin um, I got the line that was for acne prone and oily skin um, even though I do have dry skin right now but I got this line because I have acne prone skin and acne and oil prone just kind of go together so um, yeah this is the first product and I just use this at night to um, after like I take off my makeup to really cleanse my face I like this because it's gentle but it also like does the job and it absorbs your oil as well as takes off your makeup it's a nice thing to know that your cleanser is like also gonna take off that excess makeup because my makeup remove wipes don't take off all my makeup and as I said charcoal products are really good for acne and it also contains tea tree oil which is also really great for acne and also good at reducing oil I've also been loving the scrub and this is called the 
I believe it's pronounced hohoba. If I am wrong, I am so sorry, but it's that word that's J-O-J-O-B-A that I never know how to pronounce, but I think it's hohoba. Um, the hohoba charcoal facial scrub. And this is basically an exfoliator. So exfoliators you wanna pretty much use about once a week. So that's what I've been doing with this product. And you can actually use this after the cleanser because the directions say on here after cleansing. So I like use my cleanser and then I'll use this like about once a week because as I said, I have dry skin, so it's really good to exfoliate, especially if you're going to be doing it before you're like self-tanning or something like that. It's just really good to exfoliate and get off the dead skin. This exfoliator is really, really good at removing your dead skin and your dead skin cells and also controlling oil and helping with acne. And this one, because it has charcoal as well as like this really dark charcoal gray color so these are kind of scary in the containers but like once you put them on their face i don't know they're not scary <laughs> and lastly i've been using the blue green algae antibacterial toner that was a mouthful and this is absolutely amazing i forgot to mention that the michael todd true organics line you can probably tell by the name is just like an all natural skincare there's no like alcohol or like chemicals it's like really natural organic skincare because i feel like in acne skincare regimens there's a lot of like chemicals and just like harsh stuff that can actually make your skin worse so it's really good to just like take a natural approach to things so this product helps to unclog your pores balance the ph of your skin and renew new skin cells i really like it and it's been working very great for me and it also says on here that it's highly moisturizing anti-inflammatory and antibacterial and um, aids in treatment and prevention of acne. That's definitely something I noticed is that it is an anti-inflammatory product. Like it really helps like soothe everything down and just calm things down. So um, this is really nice. It doesn't like burn your face when you put it on or anything. It just feels so like nice and doesn't have any alcohol or bad stuff like that like a lot of toners can. So um, yeah, that is the skincare regimen that I've been using. I am going to try out products for a little bit longer and if I decide that I um, want to do a skincare routine with it and with like the other products that I use then I will do a skincare routine because that has been a video that I've been meaning to do for a while now so expect that video pretty soon and the last beauty product I have is you guys remember I hauled this a few weeks ago and it's the Soap and Glory Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream and I have been loving this something I didn't notice about it is it is blue and it like smells minty-ish, but it also has like this other scent in it that I don't really know what it is. But I absolutely love this. I've been using this a lot and I put it on and then I put on socks and then I just leave it on and walk around with my socks or go to sleep or something. And then when I take the socks off, my feet seriously feel so soft. But I love how this product isn't greasy at all because a lot of hand not hand, well hand and foot creams <laughs> for me can be greasy and just like leave this film. Like after I put it on my feet, like I don't want all of this greasiness on my hands and this really like doesn't do that but it's still so moisturizing so I love how it doesn't leave it just leaves my heels and my feet really soft and I love that so this is definitely my new favorite foot cream and I just think it's adorable as well so I really would recommend this product if you are looking for a nice a nice foot cream and I also I haven't tried the hand cream from Soap and Glory but I hear the hand food is like the best thing in the world I just have a lot of hand creams that I need to use right now and then maybe I will purchase it in the future because I've heard such great things about it that is all my beauty favorites I'm sorry that probably took a very long time I had a lot and now I have two snack favorites of the month so my first is something that I tried for the first time this month and I became absolutely addicted to them and I pretty much eat them every day now and they are the yo play Greek 100 yogurts and I like the vanilla ones best I just really like vanilla yogurt more than like fruit flavored yogurt but I still like the other flavors I have tried them but the vanilla is my absolute favorite so um I really like these because I I'm a person that likes Greek yogurt it's not for everyone but I like it and I think this one tastes the best of any Greek yogurt I've tried my mom always used to buy Chobani's and I, I like them but I hate how there's not just like a normal vanilla flavor and also they just have this really like strong Greek yogurt taste and smell to them. 
and I just don't think they taste that great. I mean, I like them and I'll eat them, but I, I think these ones taste so much better. And um, these ones are only 100 calories, which like Chobani I think has like 140. And also, I'm sorry I'm like comparing them so much to Chobani, but that's like the biggest Greek yogurt brand, you know, and nothing wrong with it. But um, these have 13 grams of protein in one in a 100 calorie yogurt and they taste really good and they're vanilla flavored and it's basically just a win-win-win situation because 13 grams of protein is a lot i'm pretty sure chobani's have like 10 or 12 and maybe i'm wrong but i think it's around there and it's just it's not any bigger it's the same size and i just love them because for only 100 calories you really get filled and it tastes so good so what i will do i'll eat them on their own i do that most of the time but sometimes i'll mix it with granola or i'll mix it with I mix it with like special K. I don't know if that's like kind of weird, but I think that's really good. And I'll just like mix it together and I'll eat that. But um, yeah, it's like been my absolute favorite snack and I'm probably going to eat this one like after I film this video or something. So um, that was kind of a spiel, but I'm um, obsessed with these. So definitely if you try them out, let me know what you think. Um, if you haven't had Greek yogurt before, it's a little bit different than regular yogurt, but it's so much better for you, and it has a lot more protein. It says on here this has two times the protein of regular yogurt, and I think these ones taste really good. So, my next um, food favorite is not healthy at all, but I have been obsessed, and it's Thin Mints. So, it is Girl Scout cookie season. My Girl Scout cookies came, like, maybe, like, a week or two ago. All my mom ended up getting was Thin Mints. We have, like probably like eight or nine boxes and we've eaten a few of them probably like half of them but they I just I love thin mints I love them so much I miss not having s'mores because my mom didn't get any of those but um thin mints are amazing hopefully you got yourself some though I just wanted to say that I've been obsessed and I can't control this craving okay now my very last favorite is a movie and it's a movie that I saw twice this month and I tweeted about it both times but it is a movie Safe Haven and I totally thought when I first saw like previews for Safe Haven I was like oh my god it's just gonna be another one of those like lovey-dovey movies it's so predictable it's a good movie but it's just like so predictable you know they fall in love and it's just like it leaves you feeling like wow that's just so perfect and I'll never have that but I just decided, I heard some people that saw Safe Haven on Valentine's Day say that it was amazing. So the next day I went with my sister to see it and honestly, you guys, it's probably my new favorite movie. It was so different than I was expecting. It really wasn't all romance lovey-dovey. Like definitely some of it was, but it like went about it in a really nice way that wasn't so predictable. And I really liked Julianne Huff, and I really liked Josh Duhamel. Don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he is beautiful. Fergie, you're a lucky woman. And um, I just love their chemistry together. And it just like the movie actually has, it's like really, it draws you in. It has a lot of action in it, surprisingly. There's like this whole little plot that you wouldn't expect from it. Well, I didn't watch the trailer or anything, so maybe you would um, if you... I really don't know. I went into the movie completely blindsided, but I loved it so much, and I thought it was a movie that my mom would like, so I told her about it, and we went to see it actually yesterday, and my mom loved it so much, and she said that it was probably her new favorite movie as well, um, which is really funny because my mom like never says that about movies that I watch with her, so... I thought that was really cool, so if you don't have any friends that want to go see it with you, take your mom, okay? Or take your dad. Take someone because, honestly, I think all of you guys should see that movie. It was really good, and I only, like, okay, if you're wondering about if you're going to cry a lot, I only cried at the very end, like, the last five minutes is not even sad though it's just like beautiful <laughs> i know i sound like such a girl right now but um other than that like it really isn't like a sad sappy movie it's just like a good movie so definitely see it and let me know what you guys think because i might even go see it a third time i probably won't but you better believe once that movie comes out on dvd i am owning it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I probably rambled on for about 30 minutes in this video, but what else is new? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!